What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of the Rays video. So, as usual with raid events, I like to wait a couple days till all the raid parts are out, just so I can show uh, everything that's going to be here. But obviously we are in the middle of the, <clears throat> excuse me, Tales of Berseria uh, Velvet Ending Mirage Art event. Uh, so let's just go over everything. Let's start with the banner, we'll go over to the event stuff later. Uh, I did do, by the way, uh, kind of late to mention it now. I'm sure it's still there uh, if you haven't done it yet, but there is a free multi on this banner considering it still did technically drop in the anniversary month. So I don't know if it would have disappeared now that it's the next month. I think it probably, like if you haven't done it yet, the free multi is still probably here until the banner goes away. So uh, if you haven't done it, um, because I didn't see a logo pop up on, usually when there's a free multi on, like, the summon tab on the bottom of the screen, it'll say, like, 10 free pull. Um, but I didn't see it there when this dropped, so you might not notice it, so definitely go ahead and do that if you have not. I did a free multi, and then one multi after the free multi, just because I like to do, every ending mirror jar banner, I like to kind of just throw a YOLO multi to see if I get lucky. Uh, the first multi had nothing, so I did my usual, like, actually spending 200, and I got Rokuro's Overray. So, I didn't walk away with nothing, didn't get Velvet's uh, ending Mirror Jart, unfortunately, but I'm very happy to get in our Mirror Jart for Rokuro. But, uh, I don't think this banner has too much in it. Yeah, it's not, it's not too crazy. It's literally just, so, Velvet's uh, ending Mirror Jart. Do they not have her, um, what is this one? This is her Overray, right? Yes. Okay, it's Velvet's Overray, so her Decisive Mirror Jart isn't in here, right? Oh, no, it's probably this one. It's the red ones. Okay, yeah. So, essentially, you've got all the Mirror Jarts that exist. So, you got Velvet's new ending Mirror Jart, her Overray, her Decisive Mirror Jart, her Seasonal, Normal... And then same thing with Rokuro, Overray, Decisive Mirror Jart. He doesn't have a Seasonal yet, so just normal. Uh, Teresa only has a Seasonal, so you've got uh, three Mirror Jarts for her. And then, of course, you have two for Oscar. Just his normal one and this new one. It, I always feel like whenever they do these, like, game-specific banners, there's always that, like, one character who hasn't gotten anything in forever that finally gets something new. Or, they, I mean, Oscar's a relatively newer character. I don't think he's been in the game even for a year yet. So, it's not like he's one of these other characters, like Richard, for example, who has a normal mirror jart and a spirit gear, but unless I'm forgetting something, Richard still doesn't have a seasonal or anything else. And he's been in the game for, like, three-plus years. Um... Maybe not three. Maybe, maybe maybe like close to three. But still, he's like one of those characters that's just like, how does he still not have anything new? Uh, you know, obviously, besides having a spirit gear. But uh, So it looks like three of them... Wait a second. One. No, Oscar has three. Oh, because three... So these are like fourth uh, five stars. And Oscar just got his normal third one. Okay. So that's pretty much the banner. And of course, there is a paid version of the banner if you do spend money on the game. This collab, uh, these collab banner things still last until the 7th. So that's kind of cool there. I actually did, um, I don't even know what's going to happen with this extra ticket. I guess like, because they gave us an extra day. It would be nice if we could just use it as like a single summon. But um, for whatever reason, we cannot. Um, I did a, a multi with the tickets, like, you know, the handful of tickets that you can get from the raid event, and I did get something for Velvet. Unfortunately, it was not her ending mirror jart. I got my final dupe for her normal mirror jart, so that worked out, I guess. So, like I mentioned, all three raids are up. First boss was Eleanor, second boss was Shigure, and final boss is Artorias. Pretty standard. It's a Velvet ending mirror jart thing, so... Uh, three major bosses, and obviously they're not going to put any of the legates that you're going to be using in this event. Um, so that's why Oscar, instead of uh, Oscar and Teresa, you have Shigure here. I feel like Oscar and Teresa would be more of a velvet enemy um, to kind of put instead of Shigure, but Shigure also, you know, goes with Rokuro, Rokuro getting his overay, so it kind of matches up. Now, I am very happy with what they... It's nothing crazy. Like, most people are just going to be like, oh, whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, 
but they finally gave us rewards past the 3 million threshold. So normally before, you'd get all this stuff at 3 million. <clears throat> However, there's now, if you get to 3.5, you get 10 tickets, 20 diamonds, and then uh, at 4 million, you get another 5-star ticket and some more diamonds and stuff. What I like about this is that if you're someone like me, who grinds up to 3 million in the first, like, few days. As you can see, I'm, like, halfway to 3 million already, and the event's only been around for, like, three days. Um, you, uh, now, it, it doesn't feel like a waste to do it early, you know, spending the diamonds to refresh your stamina and stuff, because now you still have more rewards you can get. So I'll pretty much grind to 3 million, and then whatever days I have left, just whenever my stamina is filled up, I'll use that and just get as high as I can. I'll probably at least try to get to 3.5 to get an extra 10 tickets. Maybe I'll get lucky and pull something, but uh, that's pretty much it. As for what you get, it's the usual stuff. I think it's at like 500,000 you get a 5-star ticket. Uh, let me see. Yep, 5-star ticket right there. Um, I don't think there's anything too crazy at a million. No, just some more tickets and stuff like that. 1.5, you get a normal mirror jar ticket right here. Um... I and then I believe it's just at 3 million, you get a, uh, a seasonal ticket right here. So, that's pretty much everything there. We can just hop in and do the level 80 Artoria stage real quick. Um, I'd say the big thing to keep in mind with these ending Mirage Art Raid events is you always want to bring a friend. I mean, obviously, I've got a very uh, big Velvet fan as my uh, friend support here. Um... But even if you don't have someone with, like, a crazy percentage, even just having an ending mirror jar to support will do the most damage to the raid boss. Like, in mo even back during the, um, what was the last one? Stan? Stan was the last ending mirror jar? Even, uh, I believe he was, anyway. Even during his, I didn't have, like, a, I think I had one that was, like, 20, 25%, something like that. He was still over half, what, just the ending mirror jar by itself was doing, like, 60% of, uh, the uh, ADAP boss's damage. So, that's always very, very useful. And that's why I'm not using, like, a team of, like, super crazy, like, percentages, because I, having a healer has definitely helped out, because uh, I do tend to kind of die against Artorias once he activates his character. <laughs> Yeah, you pretty much just get to there and then see, like, crazy damage. Mostly a Berseria team and then Alicia. Just because color-wise you have to use brown characters. So that means either characters who have just brown in general or they have a spirit here that's also brown element. Um... And unfortunately, Brown does not have a lot of healers. Considering it's like Zestiria Berseria, so you've got like Edna and Mogilu, and that's most of it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my quick video for this. Uh, obviously, the next event. Now, here's the thing. Next event should be the original character one. Like, it should be the event where we're going to get... Um, you know, the four new characters for the new story, for the recollection story. But I don't know if it's going to be an event or a story. Like, I don't know if they're going to launch with the new game mode, but then we also have... It's probably just going to be an event for them, like a starting event or something. Or maybe we do get a couple story things for them. Because then also we got to keep in mind, the new origin Mirage Arts are supposed to work for the new game mode. So the uh, Crest, Chester... Kyle and Riala Mirage Arts should maybe not be an event. Maybe they'll be story. They'll drop with the new game mode. It's really hard to say, but whatever is going to happen, this event ends on the 13th. This actually goes for quite a while. Um, so we have about 10 more days of this to kind of go, and then we should get the four new original characters uh, in the game. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.